is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2024 porsche macan courtesy of porsche of mechanicsburg in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are this one today because it's been quite a while since i've reviewed a porsche and i figured i wanted to try to get back into some of the more fun cars lately so that's what i've been doing but this is porsche's most affordable SUV. It's going to be competing with the Genesis GV70, Mercedes-Benz GLC, BMW X3, just to name a few. And ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering fuel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the Porsche Macan will start at $62,900. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, putting out 261 horsepower at 6,800 RPM, 295 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,800 RPM. That power is gonna be sent to all four wheels through a seven speed dual clutch. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately six seconds flat, according to Porsche. I'll put it that way because car and driver actually clocked it at five seconds flat. So Porsche tends to under promise and over deliver. I remember that for sure. So that is pretty darn cool. Five seconds flat there. With that BG number, coming in at 19 in the city 25 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the Macan I did want to mention to you guys the drive modes are located to the left and the right of the shifter here you got sport and off-road essentially adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now I haven't got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first because of course Porsche is known for having very quick reacting paddle shifters but we're gonna see we're gonna find out and uh yeah let's see how quickly they're going to react for us here all right got her straight away here in three two one go ah i love that sound <laughs> they're plenty quick definitely no issues with the paddle shifters and the other cool thing about having paddle shifters on an suv i know a lot of people are going to be like why is there even paddle shifters on an suv is when it's snowing out here in pa as it quite often does here in the winter time you can actually use them to do a little bit of engine braking so rather than actually hitting the brakes and we're sliding off the road going downhill or something you could just simply downshift do a little bit of engine braking so you're less likely to actually slide off the road but having said that they are plenty quick as expected from porsche so yeah, huge fan of that. But let's go ahead and give back full control to the Macan here and uh, let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, found our straightaway here in three, two, one, go. Oh, boom. <laughs> yeah, man, that's plenty quick. Definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. Having said that, there was a little bit of a delay at the very beginning there. Porsche, if you're watching this, maybe a mild hybrid system. Um, that probably would eliminate some of that delay and actually add a little bit of MPGs as well. Uh, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, they do a lot of that 48 volt mild hybrid system. I think the Macan would definitely benefit from that because there was a little bit of delay. But having said that, once you hit uh, 3000 RPM and higher, this thing just goes, son. Even in the base Macan, you guys know there's so many other trim levels to the Macan that are so much quicker than this. But having said that, after that acceleration, I'm not sure you need anything quicker than this. I mean, maybe for some people you do, but uh, this is plenty fine for me. I'll just put it that way. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, four-wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at 116 feet. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know that is a sports sedan number right there. So love that 116 foot number. As far as braking feel goes, it's amazing it is absolutely amazing i love that that feels better than 116 feet quite honestly instantly brings you to a stop breaking on the firm side of things i love it as expected i guess from porsche but anywho that touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars do want to mention on top of that there are a couple uh options when it comes to this suspension there's an adaptive damping suspension that goes for 1360 dollars i always like to recommend that because i always can tell the difference between a vehicle that has it versus a vehicle that doesn't specifically in the ride quality category because what that does is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a 
and smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy corner and giving you better handling as well. So really giving you the best of both worlds, but it's the ride quality that you're definitely gonna notice with that adaptive damping suspension. On top of that, there's also an adaptive air suspension available that goes for $2,750 if you want an even better ride quality. So you got plenty of options there, but having said that, ride quality has been perfectly fine in my short little test drive here today in the Macan, and you don't always get that with smaller SUVs. So I gotta say, I'm definitely a big fan of that. As far as steering feel goes, it does weight on the heavier side of things, so I definitely like that. Instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. I really like the steering feel, actually. That feels good. Not as heavy as like a Tesla Model uh, Y or something like that, but definitely a very nice steering feel to the Porsche Macan. Uh, touching on cabin noise, this is probably the perfect test. I'm going 40 miles per hour right now. I got a road mic hooked up here, and uh, definitely sounds like we got some laminated glass because this is a very serene cabin here in the Macan, which you don't always get again with compact SUVs. So definitely feeling that. And touching on rear visibility, it's actually not that bad. So I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting a narrower window back there, but taking a look out on my rear view mirror there, I can actually see perfectly fine. So in terms of rear visibility, 100% on point. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Porsche Macan. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Porsche Macan finished in Carrera white metallic, which by the way is a $700 paint option in case you were curious, but I think it looks dang good. White on the Macan definitely is a good look, but as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Macan is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the letter W, indicating that the Porsche Macan is built and assembled in Germany, as it should be. But starting up front on this one, black front grille, of course, does come standard. Matte black front lip also coming standard, unless you want a body color front lip, in which case it's $420 in case you were curious. But LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard. They look so dang good, actually. Such a nice headlight design. I'm actually gonna get up a little bit closer so I can show you guys the detail on this headlight design. It is pretty stinking cool. And you also got that Porsche lettering found on the left-hand side too. So wonderful headlight design. I usually don't even pay any emphasis or attention to the headlight design unless it's really, really nice, like this Porsche Macan. But you do get the automatic feature, of course. You also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up the high beams for you there. So very convenient. And of course, I do want to show you guys the Porsche crest up front because that also looks dang good. And then of course, just below that, in case you're wondering what that little circular object is in the center of that grill, that's the adaptive cruise control sensor. So anyhow, I love it. Definitely looks very good up front, but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, gloss black window surrounds coming standard, of course. You got rear privacy glass for the rear windows. Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals. Taking a look at the uh, side skirts, matte black side skirts do come standard. You can add body colored side skirts. If you wanted that option, that goes for $1,000. There's really so many different options for, for Porsche in general, honestly. Matte black trim on the lower portion of those doors, you guys can see that, but three different options available for that one. You can actually get body colored trim on the lower portion of those doors for $680. Carbon fiber trim for $1,390 or gloss black trim for $680. So again, with the options, it's crazy. Then taking a look at the wheel setup, you can imagine there's plenty of options here too, but 19 inch double five spoke alloys do come standard, but there are 19 inch, 20 inch and 21 inch designs available to really make this one your own. So. Anywho, good looking side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, you got a tiny little body colored shark fin antenna, just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, just below that rear window wiper affixiated to the rear glass. You got that massive LED light bar. The LED taillights look amazing on the Macan, I gotta say. And I like how all the letters are kind of integrated just underneath of that light bar. I have no clue if you can even see that but uh, in person, it looks really good. So just take my word for it. And then just below it all, you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All 
And so Manelsis, we are around to the back of the rear tailgate here. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, there is a button on the key fob. There, of course, is a rubberized button on the tailgate itself then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.2 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 53.1 cubic feet. Plenty of things going on in the cargo area, though. You got cargo nets found on the sides there, uh, chrome plated tie down anchors. There is a 12 volt power outlet. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire in case you were curious. But then making our way up to the rear leg room, not a ton on paper 35.6 inches for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there so i did manage to make it work rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard rear ventilation as well usb charging ports back there uh if you wanted heated rear seats that goes for 570 dollars and then rear window sunshades are available for an additional 280 dollars in case you wanted either of those but then make your way up to the front seats eight way power adjustable front seats do come standard 14 way power adjustable front seats go for $1,130 and by the way they do come with memory settings as well uh, heated front seats do come standard ventilated seats go for $650 if you wanted those and there's actually plenty of different color options available for the Macan uh, we have this Bordeaux red uh, but like I said really with the Macan in general there's so many different options available for this one overall though seating was plenty comfortable I didn't have any issues there but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is going to be leather wrap um, again, plenty of options. There's a dark walnut trim you can add to that steering wheel. It goes for $800, and that's going to be heated steering wheel as well. There's also a carbon fiber leather combination that goes for $1,270. But overall, I liked the steering wheel that we had today. I didn't have any issues with it. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. And let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Porsche crest um, on the very top there. Also lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear tailgate. But it is all keyless entry with a uh, turn handle start. I'm just going to call it that. I don't know what the technical name is, but it is located by the driver's left knee. So as long as you got the key on you, just put your front of the brake and turn that knob to the right. And so, but then once started up, you got your classic Porsche gauges, of course. To the left, you got the speedometer. Uh, tachometer is gonna be front and center. You got some of your vehicle statistics there to the right, along with how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a little bit of a digital speedometer found in the bottom portion within that tachometer as well. But overall, kind of a basic gauge cluster, but it's classic Porsche, so it's probably why they're keeping it. I get it, that makes sense, but. Now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic roof goes for $1,670 if you wanted that. We had that option, so I liked that. There's actually 14 different interior color trim leather options. So it's crazy that they offer 14 different color trim options. Uh, that's nuts. Also five different seatbelt colors. I bet you didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Brushed aluminum door sills are available. Um, we actually have a piano black interior trim that I think looks pretty darn good. You got that classic Porsche clock front and center. I always like seeing that. Got the home light controls found on the ceiling of this one for up to three different garage doors. Um, just behind all of that piano black trim there, you got a little bit of storage and you got your cup holders. Then within the center armrest, there's a teensy bit of storage within there. Uh, you got some USB charging ports in there as well. But overall, when it comes to interior quality, it really is what you want it to be i'll put it that way because like i said there's so many different color options available uh that's a cool thing about the macan like you could really make this one like no other macan out there just because the vast variety of different interior options available so when i walked into the porsche dealership they had an entire room configured just for specking out your specific porsche just because of the options available it's nuts anyway so let's now go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen you're going to find a 10.9 inch color touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming of course wireless android auto apple carplay you gotta love that factory navigation system coming standard you can check out your car statistics up there as well along with your radio information so when it comes to the sound systems there are three of them you're going to find eight speakers and 150 watts coming standard then there's a 14 speaker bose sound system that goes for 990 dollars it's actually the one that we have in this one and then a 16 speaker burmester sound system that goes for five thousand six hundred and ninety dollars that one's expensive but so now having mentioned all of that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one when there's nothing
Again with the Bose sound systems, absolutely crushing it still. Yeah, plenty of bass, but the clarity on this one was really what surprised me. The clarity is the best I've driven today. This is my first, third review today, so clarity was definitely impressive. And again, I've had a Bose sound system in my Infiniti G35 Coupe back in the day. It never failed me, it never broke. Bose is a very reputable company, so yeah, that sound system's definitely working well for the Macan. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen, of course, is when you do put the Macan in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. And by the way, an extremely high definition rear view camera coming standard, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, emergency emergency brake assist, forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and actually front and rear parking sensors. That's something that you usually don't get standard, so that's pretty cool to see that. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, I'll give you two positives and two negatives as I've been doing lately. You do have the iconic Porsche styling, which I am a huge fan of. You see these headlights, you see the Porsche crest, you instantly know what this thing is. And that's amazing. You gotta love it. Porsche has a very rich history there. So for that reason, I love the styling. Uh, more utility than a Cayman or a Boxster. So if you wanted something fun to drive, something with a little better driving dynamics, a little more character, this is definitely a solid option. And if you do go on a lot of trips or a lot of vacations, the Macan is gonna offer a heck of a lot more utility than a Cayman or a Boxster would. But having said that, it still has less space than just about all of the competition though. It is a smaller SUV, so you got that. And then also, it's a little bit higher priced than the rest of the competition as well. And that may be due in part because there are so many different options available from the Macan as I've been hounding on, but nonetheless, even the base price is higher than the competition. So I did want to mention that as well, but I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the Macan? Put it in the comment section below. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.